this is a single object model and we need to do UV unwrapping for this. Select the model and go to the UV editing tab. In one viewport we are in the edit mode and in the another viewport we can see the UV space. Then press A key to select everything and you can see the mesh of UVs in the UV space. We need to unfold this 3D model into 2D layout. Before starting to UV unwrap your model, you need to ask some questions. The first question is, what is the basic form of the model? In this case, the answer is cylindrical. The second question, it is a hard surface or organic model? This is the hard surface model. Third question, do you have any texturing idea? If you have any texturing idea, then add seams according to the texture. In this case, I don't have any texturing idea. So I will add seams on the sharper edges. Now, the fastest way to select sharper edges is Select your model, go to the edit mode, deselect everything, then go to the select option and select sharper edges. It is going to select some sharper edges on the model. Here you can see the sharpness option. Here you can adjust the edge angle to select sharper edges and default value is 30. This trick is good in some simple models and polygon modeling. But when the model is complex, you need to add seams manually. So let's start to add seams. Wait a minute. This is very 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 important step before UV unwrapping anything. You must apply scale on the model. So go to the object mode, select the model and control A, apply scale. There you go. Now you are ready to UV unwrap the model. I use two free add-on for UV unwrapping. One is the Stex tool and second one is the Texel Density. I have created a dedicated video on these two add-ons. So please watch it. Link is in the i button and description box. So let's start. Let's get started. Select your model, go to the edit mode and select sharper edges. I have assigned some shortcut keys. So if I double click on this edge, it will select that edge loop. Maybe you have different shortcut keys. So just use those shortcut keys and select this edge loop. Then you can go to the edge and here you can see option mark seam. Or you can press Ctrl E and mark seam. You can use any way. Then select this edge loop, Ctrl E, mark seam. Now we have added seams on these edges. So select everything and then UV unwrap. And you can see we have separated this part by adding seams from this mesh. Similarly, we need to separate these different different parts. So put a gear and start to add seams. Control E mark seams. Control Control E mark seams. So now we have added seams to the one side and it is a symmetrical object so I am going to take the symmetry. So just select everything, mesh and then symmetrize. Here I have taken the symmetry. Now one thing you need to understand. You can take the symmetry before UV unwrapping the model or at least packing your model. Once you unwrap your model and pack it and then you want to take the symmetry then you need to repack it one more time. So it will increase your efforts. So just you need to understand if you want to take the symmetry then take it before packing or UV unwrapping. So now I have added the seams to the another side also. Then select everything. UV unwrap. And there you go. We have unwrapped our model. Which looks really well. This UV unwrapping is good. But we can add more seams on it. Now we need to understand where we are getting the stretching on it. So. Here is the option. 
In the UV space, if you go to the overlay option, then you can see display stretching. So just check this and you can see the display of stretching. And you can see this is the thing where I'm getting more stretching. So you need to check this option at here, which is UV sync selection. And then select this UV island. You can press L key. And here I'm getting stretching. Why? Because it's a cylindrical object. And if it's a cylindrical object, I need to add vertical seam. So I will go to the side view and I will add seams like this. So select the H, use the shortest path selection and then control E mark seam. Select H and then mark seam. Similar to the other side, you can take the symmetry, mesh, symmetrites and then UV unwrap. There you go. Now if you select this UV island by pressing L key, you can see, you can select this part. You can select this part. And now we are getting a more dark navy color, you can say. And here we are getting blue color, blue tone. Blue tone indicates stretching and dark navy color indicates non-stretching, you can say. Now this is another UV island where we can see stretching. So select this UV island and here you can see that UV island. So where we can add seams on it. I will select this H like this and then control E mark seam. Then here also I will select this H control E mark seam. And you can turn on the live UV unwrapping at here. If I select everything UV unwrap and now you can see the changes at here. Just take the symmetry and then one more time UV unwrap and here is that island which you can see. This is the front side and this is the back side. You can see. Now the next thing is this UV island. So I'm going to do the same step at here also. Then go to the shading tab and create a new material, give it name UV, then shift A and add image texture. Then connect this image texture to the base color, then go to the new, give the 2K value at here, give the name UV and from the generator type select UV grid and hit OK. Now we have got the UV texture at here on this model. And you can see the texture looks really well. We are not facing any weird stretching on the model. It looks really well. Then just go back to the UV editing tab. And here we have UV unwrap this model. Now the most important step and the time consuming step is the packing, UV packing. So you can use the simple trick at here which is UV pack island. And it will pack all the UV islands. This is good, but this is not efficient UV packing. To pack this UV island in this UV space with the efficiency, we need to use these different add-ons. UV layout, texture density, UV packer, and there are a bunch of different add-ons. Now we don't need to use the texture density add-on at here. To check the texture density, you can turn off the display stretching at here. And I don't like this UV grid while UV unwrapping. So if I select this UV island here, I can calculate its texture density. Uh, all these UV islands have same texture density because all these UV islands are the parts of this one single model. So we don't need to calculate tex uh, calculate the texture density every time. Okay. If there will be a different models, different parts, then we need to definitely calculate the texture density. Now. Here I can use the text tool add-on, which is this. There is the option rectify, which can straight this 
curved UV island and this is very good then select uh, select this and then use the rectify option now the video is going to fast I will pack this model in this UV space just observe the process carefully please watch my previous UV unwrapping tutorials where I have explained these two add-ons link is in the description so boost your speed Chetan and thanks for watching if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel bye bye see you next video take care